the CIS army had a diverse range of deadly battle droids, from the standard B-1 to the highly specialised IG-110 lightsaber droid. Some of the most feared droids were of course the infamous Droidicar and its big brother, the Scorpionek Annihilator droid. A single Droidicar was a challenge even for an experienced Jedi. General Grievous favoured the Droidica for its high rate of fire and shielding, as well as its ability to evoke dread in even the most powerful of Jedi. The Scorpionek Annihilator droid was even more terrifying. Just one of these droids was said to have taken out over 100 clones and a dozen ATTEs. These two droid models were designed and manufactured by the mysterious Colocoid Creation Nest, one of the most successful and deadly droid manufacturers in galactic history. The Colicoids were an extremely isolationist species and did not interact with anyone outside of their homeworld. In fact, it was well known that anyone unlucky enough to crash land on their planet would most likely be eaten. The Colicoids were carnivorous and were even observed to be cannibalistic. Despite their brutality, they were a very intelligent species and excelled in droid production early on in their history. As you might expect from a species of cannibals, they were completely emotionless and driven only by their hunger for flesh and profit. During the Old Republic era, the Colicoids sold weaponry to the Sith, creating the Mark I Sith war droid in their own image. They even teamed up with the Sith to do genetic experiments on their own species, creating Colicoid mutants for use on the battlefield. However, this was not an exclusive relationship, and the Colicoids were known to sell advanced weaponry to the Republic and the Mandalorians to increase their profits. Thousands of years later, during the Clone Wars, the Colicoids were still just as uncivilized and just as good at making droids. As well as the aforementioned Scorpionek Annihilator droid and the Droidicar, the Colicoids created many other CIS droid variants. This included the Colicoid Infiltrator series droid, the Drotch class boarding ship, the Droid Tri-Fighter, the Eradicator series battle droid, the Fletch series battle droid, the Hunter Seeker droid, Buzz droids, the Proto Decker, the T4 turret droid, and the Trident class assault ship. All of these droids were heavily specialized and known for their effectiveness. Many of the droids were based on the native animals of their world, or in the case of the Droidicar, the Sith War droid, and the Scorpionek Annihilator droid. They were based on themselves. In fact, the Droidica's ability to roll is directly copied from the primary way the Colicoids moved about. However, these unique and specialised designs came with a hefty price tag. The Droidica was said to be 200 times more expensive than a B1 battle droid, while the Scorpionek Annihilator droid was so expensive only 100 were ever produced. Despite the Colicoids' high price tag, their cutting-edge weaponry meant they were highly sought after. Before the invasion of Naboo, the Trade Federation were desperate to get their hands on their fine workmanship. However, the Trade Federation were likely aware of the Colicoids' sneaky dealings with both sides during the Old Republic era and sought to make the trade deal exclusive. The Colicoids had just emerged from a brutal civil war and food supplies were running very low. The Trade Federation decided to sweeten the deal and make it mouth-wateringly irresistible. The Nemoidians offered 50 barge loads of exotic meats in exchange for the exclusive arms deal, which the Colicoids gladly accepted. Due to its popularity during this time, some have theorized that the exotic meat in question may have been the incredibly delicious Ewok jerky. The deal with the Trade Federation made the Colicoids extremely rich. The Colicoids began expanding their business empire and looking for new and more ways of investing their money. In Legends, they were able to buy the mining rights on Kessel for the highly potent narcotic, Spice. If you want to find out more about the bizarre effects of Spice, then click here. Or if you want to learn about Kessel's cannon owners, the Pike Syndicate, then check out this video.